Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dino Lawley. Today we're coming to you from the Discovery Cove Nature Center at Lake Thunderbird State Park. The Nature Center is a great place to come and visit and learn more about the wildlife you'll see here at the lake. The Discovery Cove Nature Center is located in the Clear Bay area just off of Highway 9 in East Norman. The park also offers great fishing and boating, 200 RV sites, and great group camping areas. We'll help you plan your trip. And of course, this is just one of the many incredible state parks here in Oklahoma. That's right, and if you're up for a trip to the southeastern tip of the state, you're in luck. Darren Brown takes us to Beaver's Bend State Park. In case you have forgotten, we live in a beautiful state, and every corner of Oklahoma has its own distinct style. Southeast Oklahoma is, is pretty spectacular. Uh, and, and to me, I might be a little bit biased, but uh, uh, Beaver's Bend is, is really the crowning jewel. Well, sure, he's a little biased, but we can let that slide. I have a feeling that if you lived here, you'd feel the same way. From the lodge of a morning when you wake up, you're gonna, you're gonna look out, you're gonna have a, just a breathtaking view of the lake. Uh, this time of year, there's gonna be fog rolling across. Uh, you, you look out, there's going to be deer right back behind the lodge. They, they come there every evening, usually every morning as well. I can confirm pretty much everything Aaron just said. Those deer do show up every morning. And we scared each other when I came around the corner to my room each night. And that fog on the lake, yeah, it can be mesmerizing. Really, the whole park is kind of like that. We've got a river, we've got a lake, uh, fishing, hiking, camping, boating. And that's just part of it. Speaking of fishing, the Lower Mountain Fork River is stocked with trout year round. So even if you're not a true fishing expert, you still have a pretty good shot at catching a bite. And if you're looking to stay at Beaver's Bend State Park, you have plenty of options. We have everything from tent and RV sites here within Beaver's Bend, uh, here in the original part of the park, uh, also up on the lakeside. Uh, we also have a 40-room lodge, Lakeview Lodge. Uh, down here uh, in the original part of the park, again, we have 48 cabins that are here. Almost all of our visitors talk about how beautiful this area is, uh, the, the pine forest, uh, the, 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 the stream, the serenity, the, the, the peace and quiet. People love it here. At Beaver's Bend State Park, discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown. Plan your trip to Beaver's Bend or any Oklahoma State Park. Head to the Oklahoma Tourism website, TravelOK.com, and click up top where it says State Parks. You can book a cabin, lodge, room, or campsite on that site. We love showing off all the state parks, but something else we love, and that's having the longest stretch of the Mother Road right here in Oklahoma. Deanne Stein takes us to one of the many fun shops on Route 66. Let's check out McJerry's in Chandler. McJerry's Art Gallery sits just off of Route 66 here in Chandler, and if artist Jerry McClanahan is home, his gallery is open for business. I was fascinated as a kid with treasure maps and the Old West and uh, old abandoned trails. That fascination grew stronger when Jerry McClanahan discovered Route 66 as a child and later drove it as an adult. We stopped at the Meteor Crater, uh, Dinosaur Caverns, everything and I'm taking pictures and I'm seeing things that were abandoned and closed or roads that I wondered was that Route 66. So I started trying to work on the puzzle then. So he put the puzzle together with historian Jim Ross and here it is, an eight map collection of the entire route. And later his easy 66 guide for travelers to show them where to stop, a tribute to roadside entrepreneurs. I like promoting the businesses on Route 66. The most important thing about Route 66 is the people you meet along the road. The people behind the counter at these businesses, they've got great stories to tell. After years of researching, traveling, and promoting the historic highway, Jerry opened his gallery in Chandler in 2008. Here it is. This was Jackrabbit Trading Post near Joseph City. It's still open. 
His back wall holds a collection of Route 66 memorabilia he's collected over the years. So that sign was under, underground from like about 63 to about 2000. Above it is the snake sign from Apache Fort in Joseph City, Arizona. The gallery also showcases his original artwork, including photographs, pencil drawings, and oil and watercolor paintings. Watercolor uh, used to start with a lighter tone and work darker. He works out of a studio in the back of his house, painting to preserve scenes from Main Street America. Some things are being restored in person on Route 66. Some things are too far gone or have already disappeared, and those are what I like to restore on paper. Most of his paintings now are commissioned by classic car owners. They want their car in front of a gas station or a motel or a restaurant that they've seen on the highway. Portraits of a simpler time along a highway Jerry celebrates through the art you see on the walls of his gallery and the stories he'll tell you before you leave. It's important. It's our roots. Route 66 changed a lot over the years and we want to try to save as much as possible of what's left so that as you drive down it in your mind's eye you can feel yourself back there. In Chandler, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. McJerry's is located at 306 Manville in Chandler. There are no set hours. If you're planning a trip, give him a call and he'll be sure to open. Otherwise, stop by any time and you'll find a note on the door on how to make contact if he's not in the shop. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Whether you are a music fan, whether you are a baseball fan, there's a little bit of something for everyone and all ages. The boys of summer take center stage at the Woody Guthrie Center. Our Oklahoma shirts sell really well and the shopping destination where you can take home a little oaky pride. We host beer yoga here at Coop. Um, sometimes it's in our brewery itself, sometimes it's in the tap room. Uh, Plus, striking a pose with your favorite brew where they're doing beer yoga coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. There are some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Lake Thunderbird State Park. Springtime always brings visitors out to our state parks. And it's also the time when baseball comes to mind, and if you like the sport, you're going to love the exhibit at the Woody Guthrie Museum in Tulsa. Jason Grubbs takes us out to the ball game. Molly Carlson's family has been baseball fans since the turn of the 20th century. My great-grandfather, William Warren Setley, was a ball player. Her great-grandfather was involved in a game where the only half run was ever scored in pro baseball history. All the bats were broken, so they used an axe handle and hit half the ball, and so they counted it as half a run. We ran into Molly while visiting the Woody Guthrie Center, now host to the Take Me Out to the Ball Game exhibit, which explores the connection between baseball and music. I just wanted to come in and check out the exhibit. There's so much good stuff in here. I think it's really great. There's so much to come down and see. Molly's favorite team, the Cubs, are in here. In fact, you can see the microphone of Chicago announcer Harry Carey. The Yankees are represented, so are the Red Sox, Detroit, and more. The Tulsa Drillers are over here in this case, with things from their past owner, actor and singer-songwriter Roy Clark. There are also items from other Oklahomans, like Mickey Mantle and Moses Yellowhorse, the first Native American to play professional ball. Lots of stuff here to look at, lots of history, fun stuff, interesting stuff, important items, and we're just happy to share it with everyone. There's also an interactive jukebox loaded up with 60 songs that are popular at the ballpark. The jukebox has a variety of different music that's about baseball, theme songs, four games. I mean, everybody's going to recognize these songs. The exhibit highlights music that complements the game walk-up tunes for players, theme songs for teams. Here are Jack Norworth's handwritten lyrics to take me out to the ball game, and Woody Guthrie's words to Joe DiMaggio, done it again. And then we have Woody's lyrics to shipping up to Boston, which the Dropkick Murphys recently put to music, and in the 2017 World Series, it was the Red Sox theme song. I've got to say, probably Sinatra Jack, it's my favorite item, one of them. 
Frank would actually wear this to Dodger games. Right next to Frank Sinatra is one of the biggest names in baseball, Jackie Robinson. His cap and jersey are right there in front of you. Robinson was also a fan of music. He would have events in his house, music events in his house, and then raise money to give to uh, civil rights activist organizations. It's a home run of history you can experience for yourself at the Woody Guthrie Center in downtown Tulsa. Whether you are a music fan, whether you are a baseball fan, there's a little bit of something for everyone and all ages. So it's a great exhibit. I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. The Take Me Out to the Ball Game exhibit is on display at the Woody Guthrie Museum through May the 10th. They're located at 102 East Reconciliation Way in Tulsa, open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. And after you browse the baseball exhibit, you've got a great excuse for a little shopping. And Tiffany Tatro is going to show us a great Oklahoma-owned shop in Midwest City. It's called Grit and Grace. Shopping at Grit and Grace is like shopping with your best friend. It's fun. It's just a really fun, small place to come in and get everything you need in just one short, quick stop. The Midwest City Boutique is one-stop shop for all your fashion needs. I love it because it's literally everything. I mean, they go from jewelry, from koozies, shoes, sweaters, cardigans, and then also hair, nails. I just really love that. They stay stocked with the latest trends and specialize in Oklahoma-themed apparel. Our Oklahoma shirts sell really well, as well as our school um, shirts. Everyone's big supporters of the Bombers and the Titans around here, so those go over well. But it's not just the clothes that keeps folks coming back. Great and Grace has a huge variety of accessories, ranging from earrings, necklaces, and sunglasses, to just about any type of shoe you could be looking for. We carry anything from wedges to comfy tennis shoes. We have blinged out shoes. A lot of the glitter sandals, those are still in and selling. Apple Watch lovers, the boutique has unique bands you won't find anywhere else. We carry Apple Watch bands and cute um, patterns. We have leopard, serape is big too right now. Cactus, so you know, Apple Watch bands are in. You can come in, big, big variety. Grit and Grace is not just a boutique, but also a salon. I have five hairstylists. All of them do cuts, colors, waxing, and then I also have a nail tech. Making it the perfect place to come in and get pampered when you need it most. I'm a mama of four, and I know what it's like to need a little bit of time off, so it is definitely nice to come in and uh, just uh, spice up your look if you need to. And with such affordable prices, you'll be able to get exactly what you're looking for for a lot less than you'd expect. I can come in here and spend $40 on an outfit for everything, head to toe. So it actually it's very affordable and very easy to do. Whether you're needing a new outfit or an entire new look, Grit and Grace has it all. In Midwest City, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. Grit and Grace is located at 1624 South Post Road in Midwest City. They're open 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, closed on Sunday and Monday. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Breakfast and lunch, everything from the scratch. Home cooking for those away from home, where to find it, coming up. I definitely have met a lot of interesting, awesome people that I probably wouldn't have ever met had it not been for this fusion of, of yoga and beer together. And the new event that fuses a favorite drink and relaxing exercise will check it out when Discover Oklahoma continues. The Oklahoma Travel Guide's got a fresh new look. It's your one-stop shop for awe-inspiring attractions, iconic Route 66, stunning escapes, and legendary local food. Get your free copy today. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Lake Thunderbird State Park. There is really quite a bit to do here from the nature center to water sports to camping. That's right, and not too far away from here, they're trying something a little bit different. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy is going to show us the experience of beer yoga. Take this moment to just notice your breath. As you take your inhales, maybe you start to feel a little lift of your heart. As you take your exhales, maybe you feel the dropping of your shoulders away from your ears. We host beer yoga here at Coop. Um, sometimes it's in our brewery itself, sometimes it's in the tap room, uh, depending on the weather and other 
things that can impact it. And so the idea is that you can come in for an hour of yoga before the tap room opens at noon. And uh, Monica here will be instructing us. And at the end of uh, the yoga or during yoga, if you'd like, you can have a beer from our tap wall. So a ticket will allow you to have any of our beers that are on the wall, um, a lot of them rotate out every single week. So if you did yoga once a month, you'd have all new beers to choose from. We do beer yoga the second Saturday of every month. One more breath. Depending on the weather, we like to have yoga sometimes in the brewery itself. So you may be surrounded by uh, tons and tons of stainless steel. Um, you'll have the smell of the brewery, the sounds that go along with it. Um, we also do yoga inside of the tap room like we did today because it was a little chilly outside. And then sometimes we even have yoga in the backyard. Monica is a really talented yoga instructor. Um, she's kind of friends of the brewery. Um, so I've wanted to get her in for a long time. We're really happy to have her. She is, I get a lot of positive feedback from the people that take yoga from her. Um, she has very varying levels, so she'll explain things if you want to um, be a little more challenged, you can do this particular move, or if you're brand new to yoga, you can do the easier move and kind of work your way up as you go. I definitely have met a lot of interesting, awesome people that I probably wouldn't have ever met had it not been for this fusion of, of yoga and beer together, the two different communities, and it's just a great way to get to know people's stories, and I really love being able to connect to different people. It's fun. I mean, as you can see, everybody's having a great time, and um, we just did a little bit of work, a little breath work, a little movement, and then it's a great balance to get a little treat afterwards. I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to come back. Um, I'm new to Oklahoma City, so I have definitely tried to like branch out and get out and involved in more in the community so meeting new people is pretty great um, first time I've been back in the practice since college um, but it was really great like she knows what she's doing and it's awesome but we do regular events all the time beer yoga is one of those things that also incorporates itself into one of the things that we focus on as a brewery um, physical activity is something that we like to prioritize um, so that kind of plays in with the having fun with beer but also being physically fit and active the light and love in me honors the light and love in every single one of you namaste thank you guys for playing Coop Ale Works is located at 4745 Council Heights Road in Oklahoma City. They're open 4 to 8 p.m. Wednesday through Friday and 12 to 8 on Saturday. They're closed Sunday through Tuesday. Check their website or Facebook page for future beer yoga classes and other fun events. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. We famous with uh, cinnamon roll, uh, homemade biscuit, uh, uh, chicken and fry steak, fresh cut uh, hamburger meat, and wait until you see what else they're serving up. We're headed to Granny's Kitchen coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Why order a free Oklahoma outdoor guide? Uncover unique wonders. Cultivate your curiosity. And wake up your wild side. Order or download your free copy today. There's some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. We celebrate big. We celebrate small. In Oklahoma, there's a festival for one and for all. This is the land where time feels suspended, where laughter and revelry make memories splendid. With places to gather, there's not a moment to lose. Everyone is invited with so much to choose. You want to find something to do just for fun? Just follow the crowd and try every one. Travelok.com lets you celebrate. Come see for yourself the festival state. The Oklahoma Travel Guide's got a fresh new look. It's your one-stop shop for awe-inspiring attractions, iconic Route 66, stunning escapes, and legendary local food. Get your free copy today. We sure have learned a lot checking out the Discovery Cove Nature Center at Lake Thunderbird State Park in Norman. And Lauren, much like this bobcat, I think I'm reminded that I'm actually getting hungry. So <laughs> we need to head north about an hour to Stillwater. We're going to pull up a chair at Granny's Kitchen. Granny's Kitchen in Stillwater has been serving up delicious food consistently to its loyal customers for almost 60 years. 
That should tell you a lot right there. So what are they indeed serving up? Breakfast and lunch, everything from the scratch. Uh, we famous with uh, cinnamon roll, uh, homemade biscuit, uh, uh, chicken fry steak, fresh cut uh, hamburger meat, fresh cut chicken fry steak, uh, fresh cut steak too. I've eaten here many times over the years and what stands out is not only the top quality of their food, but their service. They go the extra mile with everything, even the bacon they serve. We're very picky about the quality here. Uh, example, the, the bacon we have, we have a special cut bacon just for Granny's Kitchen. Uh, it's a thick cut pecan smoked bacon. You cannot find it anywhere else. And it's a special cut just for Granny's Kitchen. Their top selling breakfast items include the cowboy breakfast, which has a ton of food. Another is called the nasty granny, and then there's the skillet. The skillet having a potato covered with onion, green pepper, and mushroom, and with cheese. Uh, and we have in the eggs, or and we have in a bacon sausage or ham, with a side of pancake or homemade biscuit and toast. Their lunch menu also has several standouts, including their half-pound burger. It's a fresh cut, never frozen, and people like it, and it's very big. And then everyone's favorite, and of course the chicken fry steak. We're having a 16-ounce homemade breaded chicken fry steak. It's a huge, fresh cut, certified Black Angus too. As for the chicken fried steak breading, it's a flour, salted bacon. Like I told you, if it's uh, if it's good, don't change it. <laughs> it's very simple. It's the secret is the steak, is the piece of meat. If you get in a good piece of meat, why you want to cover it? Mo says two secrets to their success is getting the best cut of meat you can get, and when it comes to seasoning, less is more. The meat we have in here is very high quality. You know, beside the seasoning, we don't put any seasoning else besides salt and paper. That's it. That's the only thing I put. This man's mom started Granny's Kitchen. His family had success with the restaurant, and Muhammad is continuing that today. Mr. Rain says, here's what you're missing if you don't eat here. You're missing a good quality, down-to-earth food. It's not frilly, but it's very filling, very good tasting, and top quality. Mo uses nothing but top quality products. Well, they're missing a good time, good food, good service, and you get your money's worth. That's why the college kids love this place. I have two grandchildren that attend the college here. They didn't have a lot of money, and they come here. They followed Muhammad from down the street up here because they know they're going to get their money's worth. This student also ate regularly at the previous location, and today he's here. Yeah, it's uh, my first time eating here, and honestly, like the food is really, it's pretty affordable because I'm a college student here at OSU, and the food is cheap, it's affordable, and it's it's great, honestly. Like I'm, I mean, I've devoured my food, and there's no way I'm eating until later on today. So there's there's a ton of food for a good price, so so it's affordable. It's it's great. It's great food. It all comes back to the consistent high quality of the food and the service. It's all about consistency. First of all, the food is excellent. Everything's fresh and it's reasonable. The service is excellent. You'll find Granny's Kitchen at 701 South Main Street in Stillwater. They're open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and until 3 on the weekends. You can find more information on their website, grannyskitchenstillwater.com. No matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to our friends here at Lake Thunderbird State Park for hosting us this week. This is the closest state park to the Oklahoma City metro area, but it's absolutely worth the drive if you love to fish, hike, camp, and so much more. If you're nearby, we encourage you to come out for a day trip too. The Nature Center is open 9.30 to 4.30 p.m. seven days a week. Coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we'll go antiquing. Wait until you see the place where we stop. Plus, we hit up the Dick Tracy headquarters in Pawnee. It's all coming up next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.